everybody. Welcome back to another Ross Reviews where today we are in the all new 2022 Dodge Ram TRX. And this right here, people, has to be one of the most insane creations ever made. And without a doubt, the most badass you you can buy here in Australia. And forget the Ford Ranger Raptor, forget any other you, because this right here, <laughs> it's all you want. Wow. Now this really is a land of the free, hardcore America pickup, because Essentially, they've been selling this thing over in the US and Dodge recently has started to bring a lot of their range here to Australia and that is a good thing I feel like. And so finally, they have introduced the TRX and this is getting actually legitimately swapped from left to right hand drive by Walkinshaw and I have to tell you, it is insanely good the quality of fit and finish here. All the panels line up. It feels really nice in the hands. Uh, I can't really notice any differences. The steering feels good as well. They've done a bang up job. Now, this thing is of course going to be expensive whenever you're gonna convert it. You know, you gotta have labor, time, shipping these things over from the land of the bald eagle. It is gonna involve some big dollars. And this thing brand new is gonna set you back nearly 200,000 before on roads, before options, <laughs> and it is a lot of money. But without a doubt, you are getting something truly insane. And in this day and age, in 2022 here, this is something to be proud of because long gone are the blue haired fairies when they were building this thing. There was no greenies. They just said, F it and put a big engine in it. Listen to it whine. Oh. Holy shit, America, F yeah. And I'm on board with this train. I tell you what, because this thing weighs 2.8 tons. It's all wheel drive. It's got a 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 up front. And this is straight out of a Hellcat, people. It's got the SRT badge up there. And this makes over 700 horsepower. That's about 523 kilowatt, people and nearly 900 newton meters. This is insane. It's got different drive modes, launch control, and yeah, it's claimed at about four and a half seconds, which we are gonna test very shortly. So stick around people because there is a lot more to talk about. Now we do firstly have to say a huge thank you to Motorcorp Ram here in Perth, Western Australia for loaning me this particular TRX. And I do hope to get some of their other trucks out very soon, but as soon as they offered me this, I had to jump on it because guys, you know me, you know the stats of this thing. It is an absolute monster. So I will leave a link for them in the description below. Make sure you check them out. And uh, yeah, again, if you're after a Ram truck, they are the guys to hit up. Now, I was just recently in the all new Ford Ranger Raptor and I love it. You know, that's got a new twin turbo V6, absolutely fun to drive. And I really thought that might have been the ute of the year and probably still is due to the price difference here. But if you seriously want the most badass ute and money is not an issue for you, well, look no further because the TRX is exactly what you're gonna buy. And this thing, it just tops the Ranger Raptor in just about everything, you know, size, horsepower, you know, capabilities, they're pretty similar. These both are Baja inspired, you know, performance off-roading vehicles. So this particular one, it's got special suspension with Bill Stein and you know, this thing is pretty damn flexible. It's independent up the front. I believe it's a live rear axle at the back. It does have a Baja mode like the Ranger Raptor, but when you sit in this thing and drive it, this is truly just on another level in terms of size, the power that's on offer, and even just fit and finish in here, this really feels like a luxury vehicle. You know, everything is just suede, leather, stitching, 
uh, you know, Harman Kardon sound system, it is very flash in this thing, and it should be considering the price tag. Now, just in case I did forget to mention this in my rant earlier, which, sorry if I start getting a little bit crazy in this, it's just one of those vehicles that will bring the crazy out in anyone. It is an automatic, so it's all wheel drive, this thing. Uh, there isn't really like, you can't just put it in two wheel drive mode. Uh, it's all dedicated all wheel drive. It does have modes where, you know, it is rear wheel drive bias, which is nice. You can drift in this thing. It has an eight speed automatic. It is just a torque converter and it shifts really well. It seems to do everything just like you want. You got paddle shifters, which do shift very quick as well. And I got to tell you just the response from this engine, considering the size of this vehicle, we got 35s on this freaking truck, man, 35 BF Goodridge off-roaders. And it is just mind boggling what this vehicle could do on bitumen. It really is. Uh, and speaking of what it can do off bitumen, let us just do a little bit of light off-roading. This is a brand new vehicle and I am not going to damage this thing. So <laughs> we're doing light off-roading, but we are just out here at a power line and it's real basic. This thing just does everything you want. This actually does have a very big infotainment system. And like the Ranger Raptor, you do get 360 camera. So we can have a front facing camera. We can have, you know, 360 looking out the back, line up your trailer. All the good stuff is in this. And, uh, you know, especially when you're going over some rugged terrain, you can't see what's in front of you. So those cameras at the front really do help. And the great thing about this I'm noticing, which again, the Ranger Raptor is huge. This is just on a different plane because I was having to be careful in that with potentially bottoming out. And this thing, mate, you can just basically go over whatever you want. And uh, like literally, this has nearly 300 millimeters of ground clearance. Uh, it, it is ridiculous. And this thing is over six meters long. It is, it is a boat, but it's a speed boat. And honestly, look, when you're off-roading this thing here in Australia, the biggest problem is it's too big. So, you know, this thing is absolutely huge. And if you were going to do some city driving, especially, uh, you're not going to want to do it here, especially if you go to park this thing in the shops, you just about can't. But look, this trail we're on right now, it is quite wide. It's, you know, easy. It's pretty fun to do. The suspension's just, it's doing whatever it does. It's, these bumps are nothing. If you were in a regular U, this would, you'd be going all over the place. These are quite savage up and down bumps. And these things will jump. You know, these Bilstein suspension, this thing is serious. You know, the Baja mode, it's a serious thing. You know, I've seen videos of these things, 2.8 tons, literally getting airborne and uh to me that is just really really impressive and uh again you know you can just the great thing about this which gives you so much confidence is the ground clearance and the size of tires on this you basically can just cr crawl over anything you know as long as you've got a wide enough gap you can basically just go through whatever you want and that is pretty damn awesome i would not recommend this for people who are die hard four-wheel drive enthusiasts because at the end of the day, you know, this thing is huge. It's based off a truck that really is designed for long hauling and towing, not off-roading, but this will get it done. And for places like, you know, Lancelin and, you know, going in the desert on the dunes, this would just be heaven. It would be absolutely heaven. And again, just going through here, you could, this is some real like undulating ground here, which is quite, quite fun to go through actually and yeah it just plows it absolutely just plows it man <laughs> and the faster you go the suspension it really does just level this thing out and it's it is impressive i'll tell you what guys it i would without a doubt buy this thing if i had the money and i could afford the fuel bill because <laughs> That is one of the things that's gonna hurt you the most is filling this up. It is gonna take 98. And uh, 
it's averaging for me over <laughs> 28 liters per 100 Ks. Uh, yeah, this thing is going to be minimum 20 liters. I believe it's claimed combined at 20 liters per 100 Ks. So it is bloody thirsty as you would expect, but you got to pay to play. Just easing on it again. <laughs> and the roads are getting wet, but wow, it is something that dreams are made of, guys. And this, for you know, someone who has a bit of money, lives in the country here in Australia, this is just going to be one of those vehicles that, yes, it's probably not going to be to everyone's taste because it is so expensive to run. It is going to be just so obnoxious, but if you want something that hardly anyone else has got, the best of the best for, you know, speed, off-roading, just sheer grunt, like this is it. And if I was living out in the bush, I tell you what, I would love this thing right here. Wow. And look, you know, this thing isn't a sports car. Like when we're going around some corners here, you can feel it undulate a little bit and you know, it leans in the corners and you gotta really stomp on those brakes. They do pull you up, but you know, this is a big thing and you gotta keep in mind about that because man, this motor will send you so fast into a corner, uh, you, you really gotta be careful. And you know, you, you come around the air and oh, it's, it's, it's just that ease of power. It's just so effortless, this thing. and. Yeah, it, it's it's amazing. With the noise coming out the front and the back, it's amazing. This truck is so damn good. <laughs> wow. Oh, it is so fun. You just... You just feel like a badass in this thing. And that's what you gotta love about Dodge and Ram because I've said this in other videos with them is that they don't f around. They just, you know what I'm talking about? Like other manufacturers that coming in with these hybrids and oh, how can we save the environment? How can we, you know, make this thing a little more eco-friendly and Dodge and Ram just come in and they said, F it, put a supercharger Hellcat motor in it and put 700 horsepower in a 2.8 ton truck. Yes, that is the stuff that Dodge does, that Ram does, and I absolutely love them for it. I absolutely love them. Now, if you guys are enjoying this type of content, please, hit the big red subscribe button and the bell icon so you get updated on all my weekly uploads. I am uploading two times a week and we got lots more in store. So I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. And uh, yeah, I rather am enjoying this TRX. And uh, if anyone does want to know, it does stand for Tyrannosaurus Rex and uh, for good reason. <laughs> it's a monster, bro. <laughs> wow. All right, everybody, we're doing the zero to 100. All we gotta come is to a stop. We're in sport mode. Press launch control. Oh, press launch control. Reset the draggy. has got some brakes because you need them jesus <laughs> 2.8 tons of just pure hauling ass and uh let's have a look that even felt quicker to me <laughs> that, 
And uh, yeah, it felt quicker because it was quicker. 4.4 seconds was slightly downhill that time, but oh my word, that is so ridiculous. I have been in stage two tuned Audi RS3s that do 4.4 seconds. And this is a f***ing pickup truck. Holy hell, 2.8 tons of just, yeah, kicking ass this thing. Wow. Now I'm gonna finish the video off here today, guys. So look, a huge thanks to Motocorp Ram Australia here for loaning me this particular TRX. Guys, again, a link for them is in the description. They have a lot of other models available right now. So go check them out. This thing is amazing. Absolutely, without a doubt, the most badass you money can buy here in Australia. So, you know, is this thing better than the Raptor? I think it is, but it does just come down to price, uh, a little bit of practicality, and I think 99% of people are probably going to go down the Raptor. But if you want to be a little bit different, you want to be a little bit more badass, the TRX people is the one to get. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, yeah.